Hello everyone, how's it going? So today we are going to look into NVIDIA's paper on StyleGAN 2. So last year around in the month of December and later March of 2020, NVIDIA came out with this second version of StyleGAN where they could train a neural network, a GAN network, a general administrative network to create faces, very real looking faces with very high resolution. So you can see one of the outputs here and you can see how the person's face is blending and how, how different types of, uh, you know, you can have different textures, you can have different profiles on the face and each and every section of the face, the gene basically can be defined using this general adversarial network called the, the StyleGAN2. So we'll see how we can generate this and I have all the files in the description available. So if you go into the description, there is a link which opens to Google Colab and it will look something like this over here. So before I go into this Colab, let me explain you where I'm getting this from. So NVIDIA open source their StyleGAN2 and uh, they have all the files and everything available. They have some of the networks that they had created. Now this is for face, this one over here is for cars, this is for cat, the church, and the horses. So they have different training data which is already available and we are using just the face data set for now to see how it works. And if you have interest, let, let me know in the comments below and I'll make videos on these things also. And we can also see how we can train our own network later on if there is interest in this. So uh, there is uh, this professor by the name Jeff Heaton and he has a YouTube channel as well. I'm using his most of the codes is something that I've used from him and he he had used most most of it from the NVIDIA. So he Jeff Heaton created a very nice Google Colab and it, he has uh, quite a bit of code available over there. So I'm using part of his code and made some changes to his just to make it modular for ourselves. So I'll show you what's going on. So going back into the description, uh, if you click on that link, it will open up this Google Colab project with the StyleGAN2 and you should be able to see it on your site. Uh, make sure you sign in with your own account over here. And when you have done this, the first step you want to do is come to runtime and change runtime type. Just make sure it is GPU. It, it doesn't matter so much, but uh, it makes things easier, especially when you're running the network. Now, uh, the first step is to have TensorFlow installed uh, and use TensorFlow version 1, not version 2. Unfortunately, StyleGAN 2 is not uh, developed on uh, TensorFlow 2. It is on TensorFlow 1. So once you have done that, just play, press the play button over here and it will load TensorFlow 1 for us. The next step is to connect your Google Drive to your Colab file. And the reason you're doing that is because Google Drive, uh, once you run the Colab, once you have all the files generated, and when you close, Google Drive, the Google Colab will delete all your files. So in order to save your files, you want to connect your drive so that you can copy your images to and fro. So for that purpose, just click on the play button. For me, it'll, it's showing that it's already drive, it is mounted. It's already connected and you can see drive is showing up on my side. You might not see this unless uh, there will be a link that will come up. Just click on that link and it will ask you to link what account you want, what Gmail account you want to connect to your Google Drive. So just click on that. It will give you a code and copy that code and paste over here. Uh, it, I'm sorry it's not showing up in my section just because mine is already mounted. But uh, if you have, if you run into issues, leave a comment and I'm happy to help you with that. So it's uh, once you have connected that, go into the second step, the third step, which is the cloning. So you're cloning the NVIDIA StyleGAN2, which is nothing but this particular repository over here. And you're copying the clone and just connecting it to your, uh, and to your Google Colab. So my, in my case, it says it's already existing because it's already over here. And uh, once once you connect it, you'll see this StyleGAN2 folder right here. So these are nothing but the NVIDIA libraries over here. And this is the main file, which is creating the generating the files for us. So let me minimize this for now. 
Now coming down here, uh, this is one just uh, one test run where we can just uh, simply run and see how our files look like. So if you want to go ahead and just press press the play button, it will create some images. It is just generating some images for us. You know, initially it's uh, loading all the TensorFlow libraries and there's some deep neural networks that get loaded into this. And in a few minutes, you'll see some set up about 25 images set up. So it's now starting to generate and you can see zero by 26, uh, zero by, so it'll go on to 26. So it's generating a set of 25, 26 images. And we will see it in this folder called results. This new folder will pop up on your side, which will create and it will save all those images for us. So it shows that, okay, so this is ready, this is done. So we can see those images under results. And if you come here, so these are all the images, that these PNG files down here. These are all the images of people, of faces of people who don't exist, of course. And they were all generated by this AI. So coming down here, we, if we want these, if you are interested in these images, you can always copy them. And the way you can copy is by pressing this button. But before you press, make sure we have this particular folder, projects style GAN in your, in your Google Drive. So what you can do is, like this is your my drive, this is your drive, and under your my drive section, it should have this projects folder. And under the projects folder, there should be a folder called StyleGAN2. So how you can do that is by going into your My Drive. So this is the same Google Drive that is connected to this Google Colab. In my case, in your case, whatever account you're using, just make sure it's the same one. And go into the Google Drive, go into the create a folder. First create a folder called projects. I've already created, but uh, you go ahead and create one for projects. And under projects, create another folder and we will call this as StyleGAN2. Create this. So it will create this folder, StyleGAN2. Just make sure you have this folder under the projects folder. So if you uh, click on this, it should, your, should, your drive should look like this. My drive projects StyleGAN2. Coming back to your collab, once you have the folder created, click on this button. So what it is doing is, it's copying these files, these images, which are present in the results 000 generate images, and it is saving them into your My Drive Project Style GAN. So it's just copying them. So if I press play, and you will see that all of them have been copied. And if we click on projects now, you will see some images. So we can see Style GAN 2. And if you open Style GAN 2, it will have all the images back here. So if you go back into our drive, you see you should see some of the images pop up here. So we can see now StyleGAN2 is no longer empty and it has all these images created. We'll open one some random images just for the sake of seeing. You can see all these images that are popping up. So these are, I mean, these are real looking people, but they're not. They're all generated by AI and of course by the StyleGAN network. So coming back to your collab to see how we can now, the initially, before the channel, before the video started, you saw those, that video which was uh, creating, which it had that uh, loop of, of blending different faces. And now, see how we can do that. So, before we go into this, um, if, if this channel is helping, if this video is helping, then you can look around the channel and see uh, what kind of content I'm posting. And if it's something that's of interest to you, and it is, if you think it is helpful, go ahead and subscribe to the channel follow along my journey because all along this channel i'm only using this for my own uh, improving my skills and they are coming up with more challenging practices so that i can improve on my skills so if it's something that interests you also go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can copy along and fo follow along my journey so coming down here you we are just opening up the generated.py file from StyleGAN2 over here. So this particular file run generated.py, uh, this, this code is part of this and also from uh, Jeff Heaton's collab file. So I use part of his code and part of uh, that code and uh, you'll see the codes coming up here. Now 
before we do that, create this folder called video. So create this folder called video or right here. Create this folder called video under StyleGAN2. So StyleGAN2, we have the StyleGAN2 folder. Under this folder, create, it, create another folder. So how you can do that is by just going in here, click on some side of this folder and press on new folder and create this folder by the name video. So it will create this new folder called video. If you click on this, you should see a new folder by the name My Drive Project Style Gantu and Video. So this is important just because the code that is written, it uses, uh, it assumes that this folder is already available. So click on this, it will import the system libraries and the neural networks. And right here, it's going to uh, generate. So this is uh, generate images folder and this is where all the uh, generation of the GAN network is going on and here we are going to ask the network to save those images under this path so style GAN 2 video image and this image will have different names so that's the reason we have seed IX what it does is every image that is that is generated we enumerate or increment by one and so the image it will come up as image 0, image 1, image 2, image 3, image 4 going to 300 I believe. So that's how it goes in and you know, saves all these images under your drive video folder. So we'll go ahead and save this and click on this. So it's running the network and it's generating all these images. The, these seed values are nothing but those small variations that you are introducing into your images so you're letting the network know that i need images from so and so range to so and so range so the network will generate those small variations depending on wh what factors you're giving so once we have that we are coming down to this so that you can uh, now use this face network so this is the network that was uh, available in NVIDIA's file. If, it, if we go into the NVIDIA folder, these networks, um, among this, we are using the StyleGAN face network right, right here. And we are just specifying to generate these images for us. And we are specifying that our seed network should be between this range. So 8692, 8692 slash 9. So it, it's just a variation of uh, 10 digits over here. And we're specifying that all your images, all your faces should be within this range. So just go ahead and press play and it will create and generate all these images, start generating these images for us. And play, press play button over here. It will create the steps of 300. So it will create 300 images for us. And it will call this function generate images, which was defined up here. And it will start creating those images for us with those uh, variations that we defined. So you can see that it starts generating these images. It'll take a few seconds and it'll go ahead and click till 300. So we'll let that run for a few minutes and below this, let's come down here and see what's happening over here. This is the part where we are creating and generating that video. So we are using OpenCV for that. So of course we are uh, we're, we're importing OpenCV uh, we don't need the matplotlib. I believe I can safely delete this. I had used this in a different project, so I had copied that code, but we don't need this. So you can remove this, and we can also remove the time function. We don't need the time function either, just to make this code simple and easy. So we, as as long as you have import CV, that we're just using open CV, and you are first creating a video writer function here to let the Google Colab know what kind of uh, file you're trying to run. So you're going to be creating an AVI file and hence you're defining it over here. And this video writer function by OpenCV is going to help you save those images in a video file and it will create all these images. It will first read these images from this path and then save this image and then write these images into the video file using the out.write command. And once everything is done, so we're going to be writing 300 images, about about 300 images. And then once everything is done, we're just releasing the video writer for us. So with that, that's all the 
video writer function does for us it's going to just read each and every image that we had uh, that we create under the video folder and then just save this into an output.avi file right here so let me go back to the drive and uh, let's see in the under the video function uh, under the video folder we can see there are a bunch of images that are coming up and popping up right now this is being generated in real time so we can see how the images are popping up so slowly so right now it's 178 and slowly it will go to 300 and these are all the images that are coming up from the StyleGAN network and these images have very small variations very small variations so you, we can easily blend them so we can look like we can see how the face blends from one maybe one gender to another gender from one hairstyle to another hairstyle one person has the specs glasses on it the other person doesn't have it so you will see how those images are being blended nicely uh, if i open up the video once again we can see how the images are being blended so that, that's the you know the high resolution you can see even the spec uh, even the freckles on the face those are very clearly visible the frame, the color of the frame, the shyness, those are very, very real looking faces. So the, this is how the uh, StyleGAN network is working out. And uh, going back to our collab file, hopefully by then, by now the 300 images are generated. So it looks like it's right there at 278, 280, and maybe 20 more, and we should have all the 300 images. And right then we can then start generating the video for ourselves. So and of course it's something cool to look at um, I'm, I'm yet to think about what kind of applications this can have uh, especially in terms of i mean not just in generating those faces but how would you end up using those faces uh, so that's something you can definitely look into and it's, it's definitely interesting especially with the high resolution images that are coming out these can always be used in real world applications so I, I believe now we are ready with all the 300 images we can come and now safely create the video for ourselves so it's now creating the video in a few seconds once the video is done uh, hopefully the collab gpo kicks in and helps us in creating those videos faster and it should be ready okay so it's ready and if you go into the video file under the video folder we should have an output.avi it should be right up here let's see let's open up video file video again and output.avi is right here so it's about 27 MB and uh, if I won't be able to open up here uh, but we can always download this video and it will, it's nothing but this same video that we are seeing over here and um, in my my video is a little different just because I'm uh, blending from one face to another but also going back to the main face so it looks like uh, it, it, both of these faces are because I have it in, in a loop for this video so it shows how the person is blending from one one person to another and then going back to the same person so it doesn't look uh, half as hard so that's that's the only difference that you'll find in my video and the video that is going to come from the Google Drive but uh, it, it's it's the same principle so with that, I come to the conclusion and I'll wrap up this video. If it's something that has helped you, definitely subscribe to the channel and give a like so I know it's working out for you. If you run into any issues, leave a comment and I'll be happy to help you with that. So with that, take care, stay safe, bye-bye.